Hi, it's Alaska Granny. What's a versatile item everyone should have in their bug out bag? A bandana. A bandana only weighs an ounce and there are many different ways to use it. It has lots of different functions and it's a very versatile item to include in your gear. When you're choosing a bandana, choose one that's 100% cotton. You may find it printed onto the fabric itself or onto the package when you're shopping for it. You can also pick these up lots of times in thrift stores and they may only be a dollar or two for a very versatile item. A bandana can be used as a handkerchief, as a washcloth, as a quick little towel. You can also use it to dust things off, very dirty, you can put it down and sit on it. You can use it as a tablecloth. Fold your bandana over a few times and you can use it as a pot holder. A bandana also can have some first aid uses. Dip it in cool water and apply it as a cold compress. Hold it over a bleeding wound to help stop the bleeding. Wrap it around a twisted ankle for a bandage. You can also use a bandana as part of a water filter system. Pour some murky or dirty water through the bandana, then use your water filter after you've used the bandana to filter out any large chunks or debris. On a hot day, you can dip your bandana in cool water, wrap it around your neck or your forehead to help cool you. When you wear a bandana around your neck, not only is it help keeping the wind out, it's keeping the sun off and it can keep the bugs from biting you. In a very dusty situation, you can put the bandana over your face to help keep the dust out of your mouth and nose. Tie back your hair on a windy day, wrap it around your head to cover your ears in the wind. There are lots of ways to use a versatile bandana. One of the things I like to do with a bandana is fold it up and pair it with a little bit of cordage to make a carrying pouch. Lay your bandana out flat, fold up two of the corners into the middle. Now fold it in half. Now take the triangular side, fold it up, And you can see there's two open ends. Take the front open end and tuck it inside. Now you have two pockets and a cover. Now take your cordage and tie it on the two corners. Hold the cordage behind your bandana. Place your thumb in front. Now wrap it around two times going behind the cord. In the third wrap, wrap it in front of the cord tuck over, fold over the edge of the bandana into the cordage and now pull up the two loose ends into a nice sturdy knot. Now go to the other corner, hold your cordage behind the bandana, wrap it around two times behind the cord, now once in front of the cord, fold your bandana over tuck it in and pull up the two edges. And there you go. Your bandana bag is complete. It actually has two separate pockets and a flap that goes over the front. You could use it to collect berries. You could use it to carry your phone and your sunglasses. You could use it to carry all kinds of things. The knots are going to stay sturdy. You can make the cord any length that you want so that it suits you where you want your bandana bag to land. I like it as a crossbody bag. Give your bandana a rinse with some sudsy water, lay it in the sun to dry. If it get extra dirty and greasy, you can dip your bandana in boiling water for a few minutes to remove any grease and to sterilize it. Store your bandana in a Ziploc bag inside your bug out bag and then it'll be dry when you need it. A plain cotton bandana is versatile, inexpensive, very lightweight, and can be something that can be extremely handy in all kinds of situations. If you have other uses for bandanas, tell us about it in the comments below. Learn more at alaskagranny.com. Please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel.